Hi there. Um, it's not going to be uh, the usual unboxing, the Boolean unboxing session today because I really recorded it all today while I was trying to unbox my Gold uh, 2013 Philharmonic and um, 2012 uh, Silver Panda. But my uh, camera's memory card uh, got uh, corrupted. I that never happened to me before, but um, you know, things happen. So what I've got instead is uh, the unboxed coins with me. Um, so that's that's the 2012 um, uh, Silver Panda. Um, I think I've mentioned it in my previous video that in 2000, end of 2011, gold prices have gone up. So the 2012 Panda, when it was released, it was quite pricey. I think um, it, it costed about um, anywhere between uh, 40 to 60 dollars, uh, which is quite high compared to the present days. I mean, 2018 uh, silver pandas would only cost you about. Uh, 24 pounds or 22 pounds at the mint. Uh, obviously, they'll, they'll gain a premium later years, but yeah, so for that reasons, uh, usually you don't find a 2012 um, Panda for anything less than $40 or $45 or, or roughly about 35 pounds, 30 35 pounds. Um, but this one was on a good deal, someone sold it for about 30 pounds, including shipping. So take two pounds away from shipping. So that's about twenty-eight pounds for the for the for this lovely coin. And as you can see, that's lovely uh, a, a mother and a baby panda for you there, or a father and a baby panda, whichever way you see it. And um, the front is clear of any scuffs. Uh, the rear has about a few scuffs limited to the the capsule. So I wouldn't really complain about that. That's a lovely coin. And uh, I'm going to keep this, and I and I, and I and I hope I can get more of these because uh, th this will be uh, part of the multi uh, panda family that I've got from 2013 all the way to 2018, except for 2015 and 2012. So anyway, that's that. Then I've got a much more interesting uh, coin for you. I generally uh, stack a lot of silver, but I don't uh, uh, lose out on, I don't like losing out on uh, good deals on gold when they're available. I know that the the gold-silver ratio right now is quite high, and some of the stackers think it's a, it's a bad time to buy gold, but what a lot of them don't really, um, I'm sure they understand, but they don't... Uh, uh, pay attention is to the fact that um, gold comes at the least premium compared to silver. So silver, uh, when you buy from um, you know the, the cheapest coin out there, will at least have 20, roughly 20% 20 premium on it. But gold is not like that. Gold, the cheapest gold bar, or the when I say cheapest, I'm talking about the premium, not the, the cost of uh, the particular bar. So whatever the quantity may be, I think you can, uh, uh, the cheapest premiums you can get on gold are about 2%, 2 to 3%. Uh, anything more than 3%, you should be thinking about it because it should either have a numismatic value or it should be something special. But yeah, this one came for slightly under 3% and usually uh, in, in the United Kingdom, uh, the Austrian Philharmonics uh, the gold versions are uh, pretty treasured so generally if you buy it from uh, the likes of Atkinson's uh, they go for at least four to four and a half percent premium uh, I think I can show the link below but this one was on uh, sale for a uh, sale at eBay so I just grabbed it it was on a good deal on for the gold price on the day um, I was a bit skeptical because you know come yeah, I was pretty happy with my silver purchases on eBay till date. I've only started about two weeks ago. Uh, this is my first ever gold purchase on eBay, so I wasn't entirely sure, but then I know that eBay and PayPal protect me as a buyer. 
So if something went wrong, like for example, if this was a silver coin with a gold uh, coating on it, you know, it's easy to find out with certain techniques. You know, I'll I'll show those later. Uh, so I was, uh, and obviously, I don't I don't generally buy uh, the expensive stuff. Doesn't matter gold or silver or anything uh, from new sellers. Um, for me, the feedback count as a seller should at least be 500. And the percentage, uh, the good feedback percentage should at least be 95%, 99.5% and over. Anything less than 99%, I don't even browse the, the list of items that uh, the seller is selling. So that is a great specimen. Uh, I should thank uh, the seller who has uh, quite a few uh, items for sale on his uh, eBay page. I think I'll... Uh, um, refer his uh, page below because he's a he's a genuinely nice and good seller. So there you go. That's the Austrian Philharmonic, as you can see in the um, in the obverse side. You see all the the Austrian musical instruments, not the Austrian, but the the musical instruments, and the and and, and the reverse side has the the concert hall. Yeah, that's a lovely coin. And um, one mentioned that, so that's the silver here, and that's the gold. And I believe for this design, uh, I wouldn't say that for the uh, for for the Canadian maples or the the American eagles, but for the Philharmonic, for some reason, I like its look in the gold. Uh, it's probably down to the reflection and the details that gold gives out compared to silver. So what do you think anyway? Um, if you think uh, silver is better, <laughs> I'm happy to listen uh, to your uh, views. Um, and the, that's the river side. Yeah, the gold has a, certainly has a, has a premium feel to it. Well, obviously, for the cost. But then, uh, for this design, the, I think gold looks far better, far superior. Yeah. So, I think, I'm not sure how the other uh, bullion, um, the, the silver and gold counterparts for the, the Britannia, the maples, are designed. But I think in, in the case of the Philharmonics, since gold is a lot denser, you know, it, it, you can pack that one ounce in lesser volume of the metal, uh, metal. so what they tend to do is I think uh, the diameter of the of the of both the coins is uh, is equal that's about 37 millimeters so what what changes varies is the thickness I think gold is about 2 mm thick and uh, silver is about 3.2 mm yeah so there's almost uh, 30% more for silver, 30 to 35% more. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me today. So the next video will be about uh, how to find out or how to test uh, the coins, the, the, the standard coins uh, for its content. I mean, generally, how do you test a coin if it's gold or not um, that's slightly difficult to do with bars because bars don't have standard sizes uh, which is why uh, a lot of buyers prefer bars with certification uh, but in the case of coins um, since these coins have uh, um, uh, some sort of uh, heritage um, they're, they're, most of them are of standard sizes and if they're not of standard sizes don't buy them. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of any coins that are not of standard sizes that you know the buyers are not aware of. Um, what I'll do is I'll make a video about how to test a coin. Uh, so you buy something online and how do you know that it's actually gold and not anything else. The same thing for silver. That'll be in the next video. Thanks for joining me today.